Let's find the domain of the sum of two functions. Here's our example. The next thing that we focus on in getting you ready for the quiz is domains and the composition, moreover the sum of two functions. The functions given are f of x is x minus 7, and g of x is the square root of x plus 1. And the first thing they want us to do is find the domain of f. Well, you're like, what the f? f is a polynomial, and polynomials are everywhere continuous just because they're polynomials. And the way you write that is minus infinity to infinity. And the reason for this is because you can put anything inside f and it will evaluate just fine. But then you turn your focus towards g. And you see that g is the square root of x plus 1. But <clears throat> in your calculator, go ahead, take it, whip it out. Find g of minus 10. If you do, you're going to see that this is the square root of minus 10 plus 1, which is going to get you the square root of minus 9. Fine. And at this time, that is not real. So, you're like, what do I do? That gives me a domain error. And that's what the question of domain is about. Now, you can take the square root of 0. That's going to be 0. So you ask, oh, Radican, x plus 1, where are you bigger than or equal to 0? Because that's going to get you all the values that are allowable in g. So when we see that we're trying to discuss the domain of g, we need to talk about all the numbers we can put in there without violating the domain. Now, you could also have division. And if you did, you would have to never divide by 0, never divide by 0. But that's not this case. And it may be the case in the future. But for now, we need to see that x is going to be bigger than or equal to a minus 1. Why? Well, because those are the values that we can put inside g in order for that to be a real function. So if we were going to graph this guy, that's minus 1. And then we shade the way the arrow goes, this way. Do we include? Yes, we do, because the or equal to. So we write that in interval notation as square raise minus 1 to infinity and beyond. Boop. Nice. Now what do they want? Down here, they want you to find the domain of f and g. Because this is the sum, it's the and case. It's the overlap of their two main two domains. Because we can't put anything less than a minus 1 into g, the domain of, well, why don't we do that? Here, this one's for f. On this one, what can be there? Everything. Here, exaggeration. I can put anything in f, but in g, I can only put the values that are bigger than minus 1, so I can only put these guys. So if we're looking for the and, the and is the overlap, and we see that they overlap from minus 1 to infinity. And you never include infinity. But now they ask us, see, to find the function f plus g. That's over here. That's going to be f of x plus g of x. It's the notation on notation. So we're going to take that x minus 7. That's my f. And we're going to add it to the square root of x plus 1. Now, we can't combine those, because they are like not like radicals. So then, um, you know, uh, box and flower. Thank you.